Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Said Ali Abbas and today we are going to discuss what are separable differential equations and how to solve separable differential equations. So this is our lecture number four here. So in the last lecture we have studied the difference between linear and non-linear differential equations. So in this short course uh, I'm going to provide general and to the point information required for understanding differential equations. I'm not going in uh, so much details regarding differential equations. I'm just covering the basic and relevant concepts needed to start understanding uh, differential equations. So let's start what we are going to do today. We are going to understand what are separable differential equations and how to solve separable differential equations. So let's start with the definition of separable differential equation. If you have a differential equation of this type, as you can see a differential equation on your screen. So in that differential equation, we have two functions of x here. You can see that one is right there and the other one is here. So two functions of x here and the same way we have two functions of y here. So I have used the capital F here and the lowercase letter f here in order to differentiate that both are basically function of x but both are not exactly same. So just to differentiate these two functions of x I have used the lowercase letter f here and the capital letter f here. Same is the case for the function uh, of g here. I have used the capital uh, letter g here and the lowercase letter g here in order to convey you that these two are functions of y no doubt but they are not exactly same. So in order to differentiate that they are not exactly same I have used the uh, this concept of uh, uppercase and lowercase letter otherwise both f are basically function of x and both y are basically function of y. So if you have a, a differential equation of this type and uh, you are able to transform this differential equation into this form. What this new form is telling us that we are uh, we have succeeded in separating function of x here and function of y here. It means that if you have any differential equation and you succeed in representing in that way that you have a separate uh, you, that you have separate function of x appearing here and you have separate uh, function of y appearing here that uh, that means that you have succeeded in separating function of x and y then that particular differential equation will be called separable differential equation. So for an equation to be separable differential equation uh, the only thing that should be kept in mind that you are able to separate function of x and function of y. If you have succeeded in separating function of x and y then it means the differential equation you have is basically a separable differential equation. So after uh, separating the function of x and y you have to just integrate both function or you may say you have to integrate both sides of the equation and you will get the desired result that is called the solution of separable differential equation. So this is the major theme of separable differential equation. Any equation will be called separable if you are able to separate function of x and function of y like I have shown uh, you in this manner. So now let's start with some example. So here we have a differential equation. So first we have to identify that is it a separable differential equation or not. So it is quite clear that you can write this differential equation in this form that you can multiply that y with dy or you may say you have to cross multiply. So bus, uh, uh, just by cross multiplying you can write this differential equation in that form that is y dy and that differential equation in that form uh, that it means that the left hand side of that equation in that form x square dx. Now you just have to integrate both sides so I am going to integrate both sides after integrating y you will get y square over 2 and after integrating x square you will get x to power 3 over 3 and you have to add a constant here so I am writing a constant c here. So after further simplification you can write that equation after taking LCM this side will become x cube plus 3 times of c or you may say constant now cross multiply you will get 3y square is equal to you have to multiply 2 with each of these terms so you will get 2x cube and 2 3 times will become 6 and constant c and you can write this equation in more general fashion like 3y square 2x cube and I am uh, going to write that 6c that is basically a constant so I am uh, labeling it as c1 or you may say just c so this is our general solution of 
that separable differential equation so in this way you are going to solve separable differential equation now I am just going to show you the same steps uh, in order uh, to you have better understanding so I'm going to show you same steps so what we have done so far first we have written that differential equation in this form then we have applied integration on both sides and after integrating we got this and after solving we got this final form of uh, uh, our solution from that differential equation so this is our general solution of differential equation now moving ahead to a new example now we have a example of that differential equation so let's start to solve that too so first I'm going to cross multiply again so I'm going to cross multiply here it will become y plus x square y brackets dy here and you have to multiply differential of x with 2x so you will get 2x into dx so I'm going to take y common here so it will become 1 plus x square dy equals 2x dx and you can see 1 plus x square is multiplying here you can move uh, towards the right hand side and it will become like this you have y dy 2x and that 1 plus x square after dividing here will become like this and you have dx here so it is quite clear that uh, we have succeeded we are uh, we have succeeded separating the functions of y and function of x here it means you can integrate both sides now so integration of y will give us y square over 2 and it is clear that we have basically 1 plus x square here and the derivative of 1 plus x square is 2x that is written in the numerator it means the integration of uh, that function will be log of uh, that de denominator that is 1 plus x square and you have to add constant here so I'm writing log of c log of c also means a constant here so after simplifying the final results will be y square is equal to log of 1 plus x square to power 2 and c to power 2 so I have used a property of a logarithm here that if you have a log a log of two uh, quantities and a addition sign is in between them you can write it uh, in a way that log of 1 plus x square uh, multiplied by c and as the two here basically uh, you have to multiply 2 here so I have just written with the help of property of logarithm 2 as a power of both of terms so this is our general solution of uh, differential equation now I'm going to show you same steps again for to review that example so here we have so first we have uh, transformed this equation or in other words you may say that we have separated the function of y and separated the function of x then we have integrated both sides so integration of y uh, we have we got y square over 2 after integrating that particular function we got log of 1 plus x square plus log of constant c and after using the properties of logarithm we got the final result as our general solution of that differential equation so in this way we are going to solve separable differential equation so this sums up uh, today's lesson so thank you so much for being here